Amongst end users, misconceptions that all batteries are the same, regardless of price or manufacturer, are common. Many believe there is no benefit to paying a higher price for a battery. They may also think that labelling accurately indicates specification, battery weight has no effect on performance, and private brands are as good as original equipment manufacturers' products. In truth, none of this is correct. Unfortunately, it is common for some battery brands to over-specify label ratings, reduce lead content and change acid strength. This reduces production costs, maintains short-term performance and increases the appeal of their products. EU battery labelling legislation is designed to combat the misrepresentation of battery performance by dishonest importers or manufacturers. It dictates that battery capacity labels must accurately reflect actual performance. This means that all batteries must achieve at least 100% of stated label rating for cold cranking amps and 95% amp power capacity performance. Legislation also stipulates labels must display the following performance specification markings. Water loss is the battery's ability to retain water. The better a battery performs, the less water it will lose in service. Rated from W1 to W5, normally a traditional lead acid battery is W1 and a premium next generation battery W5. Charge retention is the battery's ability to retain charge when not in use. Rated C1 or C2, where C1 is a traditional lead acid and C2 a modern calcium battery. Vibration level is a battery's physical ability to resist the potentially damaging effects of vibration. Rated from V1 to V4, where V1 is for a traditional car or light van, and V4 extreme heavy duty plant and commercial vehicles. Endurance rating applies to conventional types only and is the battery's ability to withstand repeated charge and discharge cycles to 50% depth of discharge without failure. Rated from E1 to E4, where E1 is for conventional car or light van and E4 extreme heavy duty plant and commercial vehicles. Microcycle rating applies to EFB and AGM types only and is the battery's ability to provide power to restart the engine after frequent stop phases, recover state of charge afterwards and cope with the aging effects caused by rapid discharge and recharge cycles. Rated from M1 to M3, where M1 is for basic start-stop requirements and M3 high-end vehicles with extensive emission reduction technology. Battery capacity checks are conducted using BS EN50342 testing standards. Testing is carried out under laboratory conditions using specialised testing equipment. Cold cranking amps is a measurement of the maximum current a fully charged battery can deliver at minus 18 degrees C. It is used to determine a battery's ability to supply high cranking current to start the vehicle's engine and maintain sufficient voltage to power the ignition requirements under severe cold starting conditions. To test this, the battery is placed in a forced air circulation cooling chamber for 24 hours to achieve a temperature of minus 18 degrees C in the battery's core. A specified discharge current, indicated by the battery's specification label, is then applied to the battery for the various stages of the test. Amp power refers to a battery's storage capacity. At 25 degrees C, the battery must achieve greater than 20 hours of discharge time at a given load, down to a cutoff voltage of 10.5 volts. For example, a 60 amp hour battery should deliver a current of 3 amps for 20 hours. To test this, the battery is placed in a water bath and is maintained at a temperature of 25 degrees C for a minimum soak time of 4 hours. A specified discharge current, indicated by the battery manufacturer's specification label, is then applied. The test result is then calculated from the time taken to reach 10.5 volts. These tests can be carried out a maximum of three times to establish if the battery can achieve the required standard. To benchmark our products, GSUS have purchased a wide range of the most popular references from various non-original equipment manufacturers. These included 063, 075, 027, 096 and 100 types. The batteries were then fully tested to EN50342 standards under controlled conditions at the GSU Acid Test Laboratory in Ebervale, UK. A visual inspection of the non-original equipment brand batteries revealed some serious design and manufacturing concerns. Some of the batteries did not feature a flame arrestor, 
even though the lid has provision for fitment. This poses a serious risk of acid leakage during battery installation. There is also the potential for explosion, as there is no protection from external ignition sources entering the battery. Comparative GSUASA references feature a flame arrestor as standard. Battery weight is an indicator of quality. Poor quality, low cost batteries will contain less plates and therefore will be considerably lighter. The non-original equipment batteries were weighed and their average weight compared to that of the equivalent GSUASA product. The results indicated that the average weight of each non-original equipment reference was always less than the equivalent GSUASA product. The number of plates in each battery cell dictates its performance. Using more plates increases cold cranking and ampere specification and prolongs service life. The plates in the non-original equipment batteries were counted and the number compared to that of the equivalent GSUASA product. The results indicated that for all references, GSUASA products contained more plates per cell. GSUASA also performed BSEN 50342 cold cranking performance tests on each battery. The results showed that for all references, GSUASA products exceeded the label rating in all cases. Worryingly, most of the non-original equipment products tested fell short of the claimed label rating. BSEN 50342 and power performance tests were also carried out. Once again, the non-original equipment products fell short of the claimed rating, whereas GSUASA products exceeded the label rating in all cases. To see the results of these tests in more detail, download the resource sheet for this module. In summary, we have determined the following about most of the non-original equipment products tested. Standard original equipment safety features have not been fitted. Less plates have been used in construction, resulting in lower weights. Labelled cold cranking and amp hour capacity ratings have been exaggerated. Most of the products tested at best will not deliver the performance they claim and at worst could pose a safety risk in service. Sellers of these batteries are exposed to the risk of trading standards investigation or customer legal action under EU regulations for the mis-selling of products. <laughs>